the first down from happening. And now we've got about a third and two. But I think we had some problems with your microphone there for a moment, but I believe we've got them all straightened out. So we'll hope for the best, and it's third down and two now. Hutch Tech with the ball at their own 38-yard line. And again, the counter playing a first down and a big game. And rolling down the right side is Baker, and he's going to go all the way for the touchdown down the right sideline. Junior Baker, 62 yards. On a third down and two play, just your basic run over right guard, right tackle, and Baker had a huge hole to drive through. Dave, that's one of the problems with bunching everybody up. If you get into the secondary, there's not that many people to tackle you. Baker, a very simple counterplay, got into the secondary and was off to the Coming at goal you. line. A good trap play, I think it was, as he went off right tackle. Got a good block. I didn't see the number there, but he got out in the secondary and was gone. And just like that, it's 6 nothing. with... 9.36, yeah, 9.36 remaining in the first quarter. And Junior Baker has uh, maybe set the tone as far as Hutch Tech's running game is concerned. It is 6-0 in favor of the engineers. Now we got an official's timeout. Looks like an equipment problem from one of the Hutch Tech players. And uh, the official is going to help him out. Junior Baker, in fact, is the man with a helmet problem. And the touchdown maker from 62 yards. Going to go, trying to go the left side after fielding the ball near the right sideline. Right now it is junior Terry Harvin over the ball. They're in a pro set right. Yes, Bostic gets the carry on second and ten, and he picks up short yardage, only about a yard or two to the 11. On the stop was Frank Zambito for Hutch Tech. Again, a right side linebacker, 5'7", 175 senior, and he is meeting the much bigger Nigel Bostic. The ball pops free, and it's picked up by Jason Gasculo, who went out of bounds. Hutch Tech gets the ball back. Really, it's uh, it's kind of Hutch a Tech 48-yard line. Junior Baker, Sean Fields in the backfield. The wingman Zambuto, Zambito, I should say, is to the right. This time they give to Fields across the 50, down near the 45. A flag is down. We may have a face mask that accompanied uh, the carry of the ball there from Sean Fields. Looks like a little... Basic trap play up the middle that he gained six yards. And pretty well, basic football, and I, th I think you're right. Uh, the face mask was grabbed, and I will have a 15-yard quarter. Engineers lead it 6-0. Junior Baker with a 62-yard run. Now on third down, dropping straight back to pass. Kazakavich, pass over the right side. It is complete to the nine-yard line. Making the catch is Jay Travis. And let's see if he's got enough for the first time. Dave, is this as enthusiastic a Harvard Cup crowd as you've seen? Without a doubt. It really is. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that both schools have not played in this game in a while. And when you reach a, a point like this in a season, there is more than the average amount of excitement. So Kazakavich will operate Hutch Tech from his own 21st and 10. The ball given to Junior Baker, right side. He loses a man at the 25. Yard. <laughs> That's really what it yep. amounts to. Kazakavich yeah. thought about throwing the ball and then saw all sorts of daylight to the left side. Sprints out to the left and kind of said, uh-oh, here comes Bostic, <laughs> and Bostic just clobbered him. And another timeout for South Park. That is their last. So they use it with 50 seconds remaining. We got a third and one coming up now, Dave, on the 41 yard line. Kazakavich actually got about three or four yards improvising. I think, I think it was five. So yes, they don't have any timeouts, but they could probably run a couple of plays anyway and try to get that ball in the end zone. Maybe involve Bostic. The City High School Football Championship came down to today's teams, the Hutch Deck Engineers and the South Park Spark. I spoke to representatives from both schools leading up to today's Big Turkey Day game. Jules Licata, head coach of the Hutch Tech Engineers. Jules has been coach here for some 29 years now. Is it that long? Yes, it's that Ooh. long. Tell me, how does it feel to be, how does it feel to participate in the, you know, the Turkey Day game? You know, everyone's home watching the game. Tell me, how does it feel for your, your, your club to be here? This, this is exciting. It's, the, it's what we point for right from the beginning of the year. And we were fortunate enough to make it this far. What do you do to prepare your team for a game like this? I mean, you've had two weeks off. And uh, we're in the middle of the game now, obviously. We're, we're getting ready to go into the third quarter. But tell me, how did you guys prepare for this particular game? Well, we took a rest. We gave the kids one day off. 
And then after that day off, we just went back to work, and it was just like starting the season all over again, getting ready for that first game. This is our first game of the season for us. Lakata didn't expect this year's success. To be honest, I figured a 500 season might be satisfied, but uh, things went just a little better than we thought they would. What has been the key to your success so far this season? Uh, a number of things. Number one, I think we've got good leadership on the team. And a team cannot be successful unless it's got good leadership. Uh, we've got Junior Baker and Frank Zambito who have given us real good leadership. And the boys have just been working hard. And it's a combination, I guess. Hard work, good leadership. That, that, that helps. I'm sure you had something to do with it. Well, I try a little bit. Okay. Tell me, what do you think the turning point was during this season that enabled you to get over the hump, so to speak, as to, to leading up to this uh, Turkey Day game? I think I'd have to go back to our third game of the season against Riverside, and we had to come from behind to win that game. And then our next game was with McKinley, and I still think McKinley has one of the best teams in the city. And uh, we were able to beat McKinley in a close ball game, and from then on, it was just no stopping us. Enough fun here today. Gene, thanks for coming by, and uh, we're looking forward to a great second half. Well, thank you very much. Okay, Gene Reville, the superintendent of Buffalo Skip Schools, returning football analyst here on a beautiful day for football. As we've said, we've seen all sorts of weather conditions on Thanksgiving Day over the years, but this is about as nice as we've had. It's sunny, probably high. And we've had an exciting football game. South Park taking the lead in the final seconds of the first half, or four seconds ago, actually. Bostic throwing a touchdown pass, and it's 8-6. to six. The officials are out on the field now getting ready for the second half kickoff. Some last-minute instructions given by the two teams' coaches. Yeah, this is dangerous.